Hello sailors. I'm Captain Tom Tersey from the Maryland School of Sailing and Seamanship. When we do our navigational plotting on paper charts, we plot everything, all of our bearings and courses, in true degrees because it's easier, faster, and more accurate than plotting in magnetic degrees. And to do this, we use this plastic triangle, this protractor triangle, in conjunction with our parallel rules. Let me show you the details. Here's Delaware Bay. I have this compass rose here and this compass rose here. Now on the actual paper chart, this is uh, over a foot of distance. And if I use parallel rules on the magnetic rose here, so you have to more or less squint your eyes and be able to pick out those numbers. And then you put your parallel rules to measure a direction. And then you walk it across this chart with maybe six or seven or eight steps of the parallel rules. And by the time you do that, chances are that you have uh, slipped the parallel rules to some degree. So we use a plotting triangle that has a protractor on it. And we use a vertical line of longitude as a reference. This is a 0 to 180 reference, this line, right? And there's one here very close to the area that I'm plotting. So if I use that plotting triangle, I can go directly off of this vertical line of longitude near the area that I'm plotting and use it to determine my true direction. And then I simply do the arithmetic to convert it to compass. So those are the reasons that I don't have to walk a far distance. I don't have to interpret these tiny little ticks. On the plotting triangle, it's a much larger gap between the ticks. You can then also compensate in the TVMDC for both ma magnetic variation and compass deviation. So if you're doing plotting strictly in magnetic, you're not accounting for the boat's compass deviation. So for those reasons, we find this much more efficient and quicker and more accurate. Here are the details. This edge is the hypotenuse and is where you will draw your course and bearing lines. And here are the crosshairs that you will align with a vertical line of longitude anywhere on the chart close to the area that you are navigating. The degree ticks are along these two sides, and each tick is one degree. These are the degree marks from 0 to 180 degrees and 180 to 360 degrees. These numbers indicate degrees true when the triangle is aligned with a vertical line of longitude. This red line represents a vertical line of longitude on a navigational chart. I'll place the triangle over this line of longitude and rotate it so that the crosshairs and the 35 degree tick mark line up with the longitude line. This tick mark actually represents both 35 degrees true and its reciprocal 215 degrees true, which is the direction of the hypotenuse side of the triangle. So if you draw a pencil line along the hypotenuse, it will represent a direction of 35 degrees true towards your right and 215 degrees true towards your left. To illustrate this, I'll slide the triangle without rotating it over to this compass rose from a navigation chart until the hypotenuse crosses directly over the center point of the compass rose. Then read where the hypotenuse crosses the outer true degree ring of the compass rose. 35 degrees to your right. And 215 degrees to your left. These are the same numbers that we saw on the triangle degree tick marks. So let me show you how to use this plotting triangle. I'm going to show you two examples. One is where you take a bearing on a stationary object in order to plot an LOP on your chart. The second is where you want to draw a line like plotting a course line. So let's take the first example. As shown here on screen, you're sailing along and you see a lighthouse and you want to take a bearing on that lighthouse and then use that bearing to plot a line of position, an LOP on your chart. So the first thing you do is take the bearing looking at the lighthouse 
and in this case we have a bearing based on the ship's compass of 083 degrees PSC. PSC stands for per ship's compass. The boat is currently on a heading of 135 degrees per ship's compass and we need to convert the bearing the 083 degree bearing from compass to true using the TVMDC table. So as shown here the TVMDC table in the right hand column under C we insert the bearing 083 and then we have to look up the deviation of the compass on the boat. Now the deviation of the compass on the boat changes with boat heading and in this case we're on a heading of 135 degrees PSC. So here's the deviation table. We have a boat heading of 135 degrees and that indicates a deviation of 3 east. We take that number and put it into the TVMDC table under D, the D column, the second one from the right. So moving from right to left in the table, you will take the compass value of 083 and add to that the 3 east deviation in order to calculate magnetic of 086. Then we have to look up the magnetic variation. Now the magnetic variation has nothing to do with the boat. It has everything to do with your location on Earth and the date. So we take a local chart and look at the compass rows on that local chart. And in the center of the compass rows, it shows that the magnetic variation is 12 degrees 0 minutes west in the year 2014. And that for this location, there is no annual change. So we go to our TVMDC table and enter that 12 west in the V column. Then we take the magnetic direction of 086 degrees and moving from right to left in this table, we subtract the 12 west, giving us a true direction of 074 degrees. And we will plot that 074 then on the chart well, here is Cape May and part of Delaware Bay. And this is the beacon that we'll be using as a lighthouse on shore. And right here is the vertical line of longitude that we'll be using. And what I'm going to do at this point is darken that up. I'm going to put a, a darker line over it so you'll be able to follow it as I go through this discussion. And then what we will do is take our triangle and put it against this vertical line of longitude. And we'll put the crosshairs on the vertical line of longitude as shown, and we'll have it rotated so that the 74 degree tick on one of the sides of the triangle will also line up with the vertical line of longitude as shown here. And then we will take the parallel rules and put them along one of the edges of the triangle and you can use either one of the square edges not the hypotenuse but either of the square edges because as you slide on either one of those you'll be moving the hypotenuse parallel to itself and it doesn't matter whether you move it right left or up and down you move it whatever direction you need to in order to get the hypotenuse to line up with the lighthouse so we put the parallel rules there and now we slide the triangle just a very short distance until the hypotenuse goes through the lighthouse that we're using. Now the hypotenuse of the triangle is laying in a direction of 074 degrees true because that's what we set on the degree ticks at the bottom of the triangle. And as we slide the, the triangle along the parallel rules, we then get the hypotenuse to pass through the lighthouse and now we can draw in a uh, bearing line to go through the lighthouse and to extend out into Delaware Bay. We can remove the parallel rules, we can remove the triangle and there is your bearing through the lighthouse. Let me next show you how we use this plotting triangle to plot a course line in true degrees 
and then convert it to compass degrees for steering by the helmsman. Let's start this out by looking at this chart, which is again Delaware Bay, and here's Cape Henlopen. And we're going to go from this uh, red six buoy, this quick red buoy, and go to the harbor of refuge over here. And we will plot a course line between those two navigational aids from the quick red to the harbor of refuge beacon. So we start out there by placing our parallel rules between those two navigational aids and drawing a course line, a straight line between those two. And then we take our plotting triangle and place the hypotenuse side along that course line and then place our parallel rules against the bottom edge of the triangle and then slide the triangle along the parallel rules until the crosshairs fall on top of the vertical line of longitude there to the right. So we line up the crosshairs on that vertical line of longitude and then look down at the bottom edge of the triangle where the vertical line of longitude crosses the bottom edge and read the true course direction as 295 true, 295 degrees true. Then we take that information, we have to convert it to compass degrees and we start that out by taking the 295 true direction and applying the magnetic variation to it to calculate magnetic direction. So as we did before, we're going to look at the compass rows on a local chart, on this chart, and we note that it says the magnetic variation for this location of the world is 12 degrees 00 minutes west in 2014 and that there's no annual change. So we'll use 12 degrees west in our TVMDC table, which we put in the V column. We then calculate the magnetic course by taking 295 true and adding 12 west to that, which gives us a magnetic heading of 307. Then we have to look up the boat compass deviation when it's on this course, when it's sailing from the quick red to the harbor of refuge beacon. It's sailing along that course line, so therefore the course line is the boat heading. And we look at our deviation table, and this time we have to use the left-hand column, the magnetic column, in order to get the deviation. So our magnetic value is 307, and you see that 307 falls between 269 magnetic and 313 magnetic. And 307 is 9 tenths of the way between 269 and 313. And 269 represents 1 west deviation, and 313 represents 4 west deviation. And we are 90% of the way between 1 west and 4 west deviation, so I will choose 4 west as my compass deviation. And back to the TVMDC table, I'll put 4 west in the D column, the D delta column, and that adds to the 307 magnetic to give me 311 compass degrees. And that's the instruction that we will give to the helmsman. So let's go back and look at the chart again. And we see here's the chart and the course. And we're going to go from the quick red to the harbor of refuge. And the helmsman will steer 311 to stay on that course line. Now, if there's current flowing or wind leeway, that adds a whole other dimension. But that's another story for another time. This triangle definitely is easier, faster, and more accurate than trying to plot courses in magnetic degrees off of the compass rows on the chart. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you have an opportunity to try that out when you're doing your navigational plots on paper charts. And you can find this triangle online at many, many locations. It's uh, readily available. So thank you for participating.